Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video and today I understand a lot of us are getting a bit bored uh, with being in the house all the time but that's awesome because there is some uh, creative photographic things you can do in the house and I've come up with a few, few ideas. I'm not going to lump them all into one video but rather give them a video of their own which means that the videos are not going to be that long and it gives you more time to try these creative options out so uh, without further ado we're going to dive into it and I'm going to be showing you how I shoot the gear I shoot and then the quick edit uh, for each one of these uh, series I'm going to be lumping them together in a playlist that I'm going to be calling pandemic pixels uh, and that will be um, a new playlist will be up on my uh, channel just outlining with each one of those videos as content at the moment I've got a short list of about seven or eight different uh, options, different, uh, different styles of photography or different things to try. So uh, without further ado, let's attack the first one. And it's very, very simple. It is oil and water. Uh, what do I mean by that? I've got a very, very easy basic setup here. OK, I've got a, an old fish tank or, or just something you need to spe give space and elevate a glass baking tray. That's going to go on there. OK, and on that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water and then on top of that water, I'm just going to put some uh, some some cooking oil um, and the reaction that that has. It creates these awesome little designs, uh, awesome little and that that the create and the reaction that that has, it creates these awesome little uh, bubbles within bubbles of oil on top of water. And then the magic happens when you put something colorful behind it. So to begin with. I've got, hold on. Inside uh, this glass uh, container here, I've got some old felt. OK, I'm just going to put that in because I don't want it to to reflect too much uh, into the outside because I'm going to be photographing from here. Uh, I'll show you how all of the lighting is going to work. But let me just put this in just to stop too much reflection from the other elements of glass okay so that is for the most part a large part of the shoot actually then what I've got is my uh, trusted old iPad it's an ancient monster just like me now if you go on to uh, in, in the app store or whatever passcode uh, if you go into the app store uh, what you'll find is you can get these um, wallpapers, free wallpapers, abstract stuff. Um, and what I've got here is I've downloaded today just a few little designs that I want to try and put underneath the baking tray. This one in particular, very nice and colourful. Now I'm just going to place this underneath the baking tray. And when I look down through the water and the oil, that pattern behind it is just going to give you all these psychedelic weird and wonderful patterns so without further ado let's get set up and let's get cracking Some people may be maybe wondering uh, what kind of oil are you using? Hey, I'm just using a generic oil. Uh, I'm not going to show the label, <laughs> but uh, just a regular virgin oil. Um, was it extra olive oil? And just chuck a bit of that in the surface. Now, on the surface of the water. Now, the main thing, have a fork with you. And every now and again, just give it a bit of a stir. And what you'll see is lots and lots of new bubbles will, will be formed. And that's where all of the uh, interesting shapes and uh, all of the interesting bubble groups can be found. Um, I'm going to be shooting this handheld. OK, what I have got, uh, you can see one of them here. I've got one LED here and I've got another one at the back there just to get more light into the whole area in general. That way I don't have to worry about using a strobe. Um, I'm going to be shooting on a Canon EOS 5DSR and to attach to it I've got the uh, Tamron 90mm uh, f2.8 uh, macro. Uh, a fantastic macro lens, relatively cheap as well, um, but an awesome, awesome piece of glass. So good 
This is actually the second one I've owned. I, I wore the first one out. Uh, and this is still the, genera the first generation. By the time when I bought this, the Gen 2 was still out uh, or was out, but I decided to try and find a new one of these. The first generation because it's just absolutely awesome glass. Okay then, so we're just going to give the oil a bit of a bit of a jiggle and then it's down to just looking for interesting patterns in the bubbles try not to have it spinning too much You've got to be a bit quick because these bubbles they dissipate quite quickly let's get full extension on there there we go okay cool oh man these are just going to lean on the wall a bit any kind of way to get things nice and nice and steady even bracing the lens like this oh yeah well that all came out pretty funky i uh, got some awesome shots just by looking at the review on the uh, camera um, but a very quick and easy very creative option for photography uh, during the lockdown I'm going to get all of this cleared up now and then we'll jump quickly into the computer just to show you uh, what I got and just to show you how psychedelic all of this can be. So there we are, all the gears packed up magically, wonderful. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and check and see what we've got. Let's jump into Lightroom and Photoshop, jazz up these shots a little bit and just show you what a little bit of uh, creative out of the box thinking can do and uh, get you back into getting all creative and uh, having a good time with photography during the lockdown. Well here we are folks, we're in Lightroom and these are all of the images or all of the, the good images that, um, that I was happy with uh, from the shoot this morning. Um, I've whittled that down to just these few here, these seven. Uh, let's just quickly click through these. These are as yet unedited. But you get these really nice uh, mauve um, bubbles and just the outline is just really kind of funky. Just step through these. Uh, this one's pretty cool. That one's just like a, a cell with lots of little amoeba inside it. And these ones, wild planets. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and edit some of these. Let's just go back to the big view. Okay, let's uh, have a crack at, um, yeah, one of these. So let's try this one. So I really want to boost the um, boost the color on this. Okay, so let's go on develop. And because I'm dealing with such massive um, resolution, and I'm only going to use these for web anyway, I can come down and just pick an area that I find the most interesting. I'd say something like this. It's got a nice range of colors. Come into the blue in the bottom there. That's nice. Yeah, cool, happy with that. So let's just keep, keep that area there. Alrighty, um, so I guess it's all just basically uh, exposure's fine. So a bit of contrast in there, just a tiny bit. Um, highlights, I don't really want to change too much. Clarity's fine. Vibrance, this is where it gets funky. This is where we can really pump up the saturation, get crazy. Okay, uh, clarity, that's nice. Uh, texture, yeah, we can come down really low or we can come up high. Let's go, I'm not even going to touch that. It's all right, fine, there it is. Uh, let's go with saturation, so saturation on the reds, bring them up a bit, that's pretty funky. Oranges, there's no real oranges in there, is there? There's a little bit of green at the top there, so let's boost that a bit. Uh, purples, definitely and magenta i guess there is okay that's that's pretty funky as it is um i'm just going to increase a little bit the exposure bring it out a nice bit brighter there we go and for that one i'm cool okay i'm going to go on and uh, edit a few of these and i'll show you what i've got in just a short while how awesome was that that was pretty wild um, all that remains for me guys and girls is to say a big thank you uh, especially for the time uh, you take to to look at my content to hopefully keep coming back um, if you haven't already please do subscribe down the bottom there uh, hit that little notification bell so you'll be updated as and when there's new content available from me um, and with this um, with the pandemic pixels uh, playlist 
uh, the next, hopefully, or the, the next content from me will be, be within about three or four days, uh, I'm hoping. Uh, and it looks like the hot favorite at the moment is gonna be smoke photography. You ever wondered what that is? Ever, ever tried it? Ever uh, just seen how crazy it can be? It's just as, if not more fun, uh, than what we've just done uh, this morning. So check back hopefully very soon, and that will be there ready and waiting for you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out into the wilds very soon uh, and get back into uh, enjoying the big bad world that we've got out there to play with. All right, take care guys and girls, and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs>